Hey everyone, Tim here again, timscomputerfix.net, doing something a little bit different here today. I'm going to do a screencast, um, and in this video, I am going to talk about uh, security cameras. And there are many different types of security cameras. I won't uh, get into them all, but uh, I'll just give you a few examples here of, uh, of some of the security cameras that, that, um, that are available. Uh, this is just a real generalized picture here, but you have what's called dome cameras here. And these are uh, pretty much, uh, you can use these indoor or outdoor. They give a little bit more of a discreet, uh, clean look. Um, they uh, can be adjustable. Uh, they can be mechanical to where you can control where they look. Uh, you can get these to where they're kind of grayed or frosted out to where you can't tell which way they're showing. You, you can also buy small adapters for these guys to to hook onto and to give them a little bit more of a uh, a cleaner look or get a better angle of wherever you're mounting these cameras okay and what these guys here are called are called bullet cameras and with these they're a little bit less discreet um, if you're trying to hide which direction your cameras are pointing um, these are definitely not the ones to get but these also have features like uh, tilt pan zoom just like the dome cameras do there's diff several different varieties and you have these nice industrial outdoor uh, cameras that are very well protected from the sunlight and from and from the harsh elements rain and, and and harsh weather and such so pretty much each of these cameras shown here not all of them but the ones that you see here that have like these little uh, infrared lights those infrared lights are used for night vision, and basically they shoot uh, infrared um, LEDs that allow you to see um, sort of like black and white images at night. So pretty good for that. So for the purposes in this video, I am going to talk about a particular brand of camera system. We're going to talk about uh, Hike Vision. Hike Vision is a very well known. Uh, company in when it comes to security and camera systems and things like that they make dome cameras ip cameras wireless cameras very well known uh, in the industry i'm also going to be showing you the interface of a security system that my company did tim's computer to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like when you set one of these cameras up these are very good cameras, high quality. Some of them can be 1080p. Some of them can be... So really, uh, 720p would really be all you would probably would want to go with. Um, when you're talking about general purposes, uh, 1080p cameras will give you a much higher resolution. So your zoom can be much more vivid, non-pixelated when you zoom in. You're a little bit more expensive too with those types of cameras. So the NVR systems, here's a bullet camera here that we used in the one I'm going to show you. This is a really good uh, bullet camera for the money. The one I'm about to show you is 720p. We did a 1080p one too that I'll show you in another video. You can see all the IRs here, uh, lights in this. It's just very good infrared. Mounts really easy. All of the wires are hidden. So it's a really good, really, really good camera system. So the NVRs that we use, basically, they're all, this is a PoE system that we're using. So in looking kind of basically how systems are set up, it's, it's basically just running your Cat5 cable from the camera to the back of the NVR. Here you have a USB port where you can pull off any of the data that you want to pull off, any, any kind of a recording that you want to pull off. And uh, then you have, you can hook your monitor up either HDMI or DVI. And, and then here's your, is your, is your network connection that hooks up to like your router or your modem or whatever. And that'll give you your IP. We'll get into that uh, in another video also. But there are several different types of cameras, uh, NVRs that go from four all the way up to 32 cameras when it comes to poe hike vision is a very 
great quality name in like I said in the industry and this is an example of exactly the one that we set up and you can see a little bit of a cleaner look of what things look like on the back side of these uh, this is an eight camera NVR here you also have audio outs and audio ins for if you have cameras that re that support audio so let's go ahead and take take a quick look at the setup here we're going to do this in a, in a couple of several different videos so let's just say you've just set up your camera system and you've plugged in your LAN this would be your Ethernet cable and your home or business that runs from your router that would then give an IP address to this NVR and if you go to a browser this on the local network in inside your network if you go to that IP address you will pull up an interface so let's take a look here at let's take a look real quick at what it looks like with these hike visions when we do that this is the particular model that we're using in VR right here so you always see that at the top hike vision of course so right over here to the left you'll see how many cameras that the NVR actually sees on its system and in this particular one that we set up this is a four camera setup here so you'll always see how many cameras you have here so in the in this this is the live view area this is the first main screen that you'll be on to view all of your cameras and as you can see here we are set up in four different boxes so with these four different boxes, we can set up all four of our cameras at once. So for systems that have more cameras involved, 8, 16, 32, uh, there's a small box down here that you can click on that will pretty much give you the option to, to uh, go just one full screen, four sets of cameras which were set on here, and there'll be some more if you have more cameras set up on your system. So that's a nice little setup there. So in order to get some video going on these, uh, we'll highlight one box. Let's just highlight this one. And up here, we'll go ahead and we'll click on our, our camera to pull the camera number one up. So here's camera number one, and it's highlighted in red here. Okay, and keep in mind these are, these are 720p cameras. Uh, so... So let's just say you want to make this larger. You could just double click on it and we'll, we, it'll go full screen just like that. And you can see pretty decent size, pretty decent uh, resolution here. Not bad at all. That's all you really need. So, so if you want to close that camera out or stop it, you just click it one time and it goes away. Simple enough. So if you want to keep that, if you want to, if you want to move that over to this right side, you just highlight this box over here and click on camera number one again and then it'll come up on this side right so let's try camera number two let's highlight this box and we'll go over here to camera number two and now we have camera number one camera number two going at the same time as you can see we're in real time here and these are labeled camera number one camera number two this can be changed to to whatever you like. I'll show you in another video how that's done. Okay, and then of course we have our other our other cameras here. Let's do camera number three down here. We'll click on camera number three. And there's camera number three here. That's inside a shop. Looks like some spider webs there. Kind of built up. And this is this over here will be camera number four. And there's camera number four. In any one of these, you can double click on the box and it will go full screen. So that's pretty nice there. Or you can come down here, like I said, in this one corner and, and you can select full screen or any given camera that you want. So we'll go back to all three cameras here. Nice. Okay, so let's just cancel off a couple of these guys. Okay, we'll keep camera number one up. So if you notice over here on this side, there are some controls. And with these controls, you can control your pan, tilt, zoom if your cameras were so equipped. So if, the, so if I had cameras installed on there that had motorized uh, 
pan tilt zoom features I would be able to actually move the camera about all the way up to 360 degrees up down left to right however way I want to there's also these zoom features that I could use um, that's if the camera was equipped with um, with the with the uh, an optical zoom which the cameras that I have here are not equipped with that but that is how you would you would uh, control those if you had them so yeah basically um, that's all I'm going to show you for today's video is getting a little long so there's all sorts of other configurations I want to show you how in other videos how to configure your cameras how to activate uh, motion sense uh, lots of other features uh, on these height vision cameras and this height vision interface but we'll stop here for now thanks for watching my video see you next time everybody